CRISPR knock-in tips and tricks. What is needed for a successful CRISPR knock-in experiment? Clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats, known as CRISPR, are sequences found in many bacteria and archaea which constitute one of the most effective prokaryotic defense systems against potential infectious agents including bacteriophages and viruses. A plethora of CRISPR-Cas related studies not only broadened our understanding of the interactions between prokaryotes and their phages and viruses, but they also gave researchers the opportunity to apply CRISPR-based machinery in genetic modification experiments. The continuous development of novel CRISPR-based genome editing tools consistently leads to major advances in the life sciences. This is one of the reasons why it is important to carefully follow up-to-date tips and tricks on how to maximize the efficiency and precision of your CRISPR experiments. To implement targeted genome edits, researchers can use two main approaches, knock-ins or knock-outs. Before discussing the actual tips for a successful knock-in experiment, let's briefly overview what the CRISPR system consists of. The CRISPR-based machinery involves two main components. One, a guide RNA, a specific RNA sequence that recognizes the targeted DNA region, and two, a Cas nuclease, most commonly Cas9, which is directed to a specific DNA site by the RNA guide and cuts at this DNA site. Sometimes these cuts result in double strand breaks, known as DSBs, in the chromosome, which may lead to cell death. To avoid cell death, DSBs can be repaired by one of the following mechanisms. Microhomology mediated end joining, or MMEJ, non-homologous end joining, or NHEJ, or homology directed repair, or HDR. NHEJ, often used for knockout experiments, repairs the DSB rapidly, often creating indels insertions or deletions, which, which may lead to a frame shift mutation. On the other hand, knock-in experiments, the main goal of which is to insert an exact DNA sequence into a precise genomic site, which leaves virtually no room for error, rely on the HDR mechanism. Since HDR mediated, mediated repair is only active in dividing cells, and given the high precision of the necessary edit, knock-in experiments tend to be more challenging compared to knock-out experiments. What steps can be taken to maximize the efficiency and precision of your CRISPR knock-in experiment? The guide RNA plays a key role in a knock-in experiment. It targets a highly specific DNA sequence and guides the Cas nucleus to this site. This is why it is important to carefully design your guide RNA using one of the freely available bioinformatics tools, for example, IDT's Altar HDR Design Tool. It is also recommended to design a few different guide RNAs and assess their efficiency to achieve the best results. The success of your knock-in experiment also relies on choosing the right type of the DNA donor template. This choice largely depends on the size of your insertion. For short insertions, less than 120 base pairs, it is recommended to use single-stranded donor oligonucleotides, whereas for longer insertions, it is advisable to use a plasmid or double-stranded DNA due to synthesis limits of oligonucleotides. It is worth noting that using plasmids may result in lower knock-in efficiency because large plasmid constructs are difficult to deliver efficiently and may cause toxicity. IDT recommends the use of chemical modifications to stabilize your donor template against nucleases and reduce the risk of non-HDR mediated blunt insertions. IDT's Altar HDR donor oligos and Altar HDR donor blocks include these modifications. Adding silent mutations into the protospacer adjacent motif, known as PAM, or the target site may have a double positive effect of preventing premature degradation 
of the double-stranded DNA template and preventing recutting of the genomic target DNA. If the photospacer is disrupted by the introduction of a silent mutation, the gRNA Cas9 complex can't bind to the site and the nucleus can't recut the target locus. It is worth noting that adding silent mutations is a feature of the Altar HDR design tool. No matter what scientific experiment you are running, its conditions should be carefully adjusted to deliver the best results. This is especially important in the case of a CRISPR knock-in experiment that intrinsically has low efficiency. What experimental adjustments can be made for better results? Number one, choose the appropriate delivery system, for example, electroporation, and delivery conditions. Two, determine the optimal concentration of the gRNA Cas9 complex and HDR template. Three, Experiment with initial cell density. Four, adjust the guide RNA to Cas9 ratio if needed, typically around 1.2 to 1. Five, incorporate electroporation and HDR enhancers to improve delivery and increase HDR rates. The insertion, insertion knock-in, of an additional DNA sequence into a genome is widely used for modifying genomes in experimental systems across multiple industries. Since the efficiency of knock-ins is naturally low, it is important to maximize the efficiency of your results by carefully following all the tips and tricks available thanks to the continual advancement of scientific knowledge and improved quality of CRISPR-related tools and reagents. For more information about CRISPR technology, and the products offered by IDT for your experimental needs, visit our website at idtdna.com.